What's up everybody? It's Tech Tip Tuesday and today we'll be going over how to put in sliders into your videos. This was a request by a subscriber and they wanted to know how I put these awesome like and subscribe sliders that show up in my video. And it's very simple to do. I use Vegas Pro. I know a lot of you use OBS so it's probably something very similar. Uh, but what you're going to do first is you're going to go out to Google and you're going to look for uh, like like buttons or subscribe buttons for YouTube and just put that in Google and it's going to come up with different packages or um, pictures and you're going to look for the ones that you want that fit, fit your style and then you're going to uh, either buy them, make sure if it's somebody that wants credit for their work. Uh, you put that credit in there or if you just find free ones or if you're super talented you might be able to do these in Photoshop. I was able to find some royalty free ones and that's what I've been using in my videos. So you first you get the PNG file you put it into your project and then you can see that it shows up right here. I just scroll to zoom in. Now as it when it comes in as a raw file and if I hit play it just gives you that, that big out, clunky 16, one so, that's so we're gonna have to resize it you click on this little crop tool which pulls up this whole new window and then I zoom out and what I do is usually do it about four squares and then you make sure that this is um, closer to the edge or wherever you want it to slide in from you might want it to slide in from the bottom or wherever um, it all depends on the picture that you actually have and what you plan on doing with it um, but this is what works for me is about this size and then I will hit play to check the size okay that's about the right area that I want and then you want to add the effect to it so the first thing you're gonna do is you go over here and you get on this little corner and you're gonna pull it so it gives you that little squiggly line almost like it breaks up and then you'll want to do the same type so this gives me the 0, 07 and you want to do about the same time frame on the other side and we're going to adjust this here in a minute anyways you just want to make sure that there's a little bit of a gap here then you're going to want to go into your transitions and what I use is the push transitions and so we so we usually have it from the bottom left and so we want to push it in right and then you want it to push off previous image you close that out and then you want the opposite of what you just put in there for the out and then push push off previous image now when we play this it looks dope i'm excited slides that in comes out on may 16th so that's next week that that's going to be coming out and it slides uh, out so we'll be looking perfect for that. okay so that's the first step of if you want one of these in your video now if you want to step it up a notch you want to make sure that people know when this is sliding in and sliding out because maybe somebody turns on your video and they're not actually watching it but they're listening to it and then you give it a little ding or something like that so that they actually look back at your video or if they've got a lot of stuff going on like I play Call of Duty so you're watching the guys jump around and stuff add a little bit of audio to it now I've got these little swish noises basically and they're called whoosh transitions and what you can do is you just take this and Vegas Pro is very nice if you line it up with the end of it it gives you that blue line this is the full audio length so and then you can pull so the fade matches up exactly with the audio and we'll do that with the outs and that should be good now you hit play it looks dope i'm excited that comes out on may 16th and you'll get the so little whoosh audio that that's going to be coming out uh, so and i'll add it in here as well. as well now there's in case the audio didn't show up there but that is as simple as it gets so go out to google find the images make sure you're giving people credit where credit is due um if you're borrowing artwork or if you're getting it free or if you're talented um create your own you can do some unique concepts with this and then you put it in here you add these little transitions to it if you want to add some extra audio to it you can do that too and then you just render it out with the video and then it shows up as it does in this video i hope this helps you guys out 
If you have any questions, hit me up in that comment area below. If this helps you, smash that like button, and like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.